Yeah, how do you think you, you played today and the team played today? Oh, myself? I mean, I think I struggled a little bit in the, be in the beginning. Just um, getting adjusted to the floors and just having, well, I mean, we're trying to have fun. So you just try to t not to take it too seriously, but at the same time, you want to win. So it's fun out here competing against somebody else besides our teammates. On paper, this was going to be a little bit stiffer challenge. I think they had seven former Division One players. And Sean Butler was on, yeah, the, on the, the West Virginia team that beat Kentucky. Um, they took it to you guys a little bit early. How how impressed are you with the rest of your teammates? And I mean, we the guys that you, you throttled this thing. We, we picked it up. Um, we were kind of sluggish. I think Aaron got a dunk or something, and that really picked up the tempo of the game. We started picking up. And it, it started to get fun. Um, I, I guess they kind of ran out of gas. Um, we, we go 10 deep, and we are very talented, and it'll, it'll be a fun year. Is that indicative of what you think that that wave system of, of two waves of guys coming in fresh every four or five minutes? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's great. I mean, the temperature of the gym is just pretty high, so that definitely helps us. Uh, being able to have five in, five out, ten people, and the talent not drop off at all, it, it, it's great. So, Andrew, how different was that experience with uh, Coach Cal on the bench? Um, it was different. Um, um, Coach Payne gave me a lot of responsibility, so I, I just tried to lead the team as best as I can. Coach also tweeted that you guys, Andrew, are further ahead than a lot of teams he's had in a while. Has he expressed that to you guys, and what, what does that say to you? Um, yeah. Um, we had a, a lot of returning players um, that went to the national championship game, and that definitely helped us a lot. Um, and each, each individual player got better from last year in every aspect of the game, and we have a lot of talented young freshmen coming in, and we just try to lead them. What do you make of the guy next year? He, he, he's a great player, very emotional and stuff. Um, it was a bright future. It, it'd be fun playing with him. Carl, it looks like all the, the new guys have blended instantly, which. You can see where that wouldn't happen. They had so many people coming back. How that worked out? Uh, it's worked out great. You have the the older guys, especially the guy to my right. You know, it makes it a lot easier to transition into college. Um, Devin Booker and Tyler Eulis having a person like Andrew Aaron, uh, it just makes their transition even easier. Me having Willie Colley Stein, Dakari Johnson, um, just makes everyone have more comfort comfortability level on the floor, and we're able to play our best when we feel the com most comfortable. How did you, Carl? How did you feel you played today? Um, I struggled in the beginning. I think I uh, did some stuff, you know, uh, trying to find my shots still here overseas. But um, uh, I felt that the best thing I could do at the time was switch my game and go more of an inside attack, and it worked. And I just kept pounding away at it, um, just playing active, uh, like KP, uh, Coach Kenny Payne told me to do. And um, I think I did a good job of that. But um, at the same time, two free throws missed. That's in my book, unacceptable. So we got to go back in the gym, <laughs> and we got to find a way to fix that. How much does it help having played so much international style basketball? Um, it's definitely helped a lot. Um, the experience and being able to guess the opponent's move without even having a scouting report on them, it really helped me a lot, especially with the DR team. Um, you know, I give them a lot of credit, but here I'm here with Kentucky, so I'm here. I'm glad that I maybe shed some experience off, but uh, at the same time, they got more experience than me at this level, and I'm just glad that I have a chance to play with these great guys. Andrew, you kind of cracked up when he when he said his two missed free throws are unacceptable. Oh, uh, just stuff Carl says. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> does he sort of does he surprise you at all? Sort of the, the level of maturity that he comes in with, like, definitely handling, handling himself, sort of. Like I'm definitely. Or? I'm any freshman will struggle a little bit, just. Trying to understand what coach is telling you. You know, I, I try to help him as much as I can. So, I me, mean, he's doing great, doing a great job. So, Alex brought brought that energy again yeah. today and stretches. Help you guys extend well, that lead. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, everybody knows Alex is a great athlete, but this summer he's been working on this game a lot, and it shows. And he improved, and he's having great games down here, and he's having fun. The question Andrew, is, there was there was a play yesterday where you put a fake on the guy. And he kind of staggered. He kind of struggled to just keep his balance. And then you went on in, had a layup, but instead I think you passed it to Alex to uh, let him dunk. Can you, what goes through your mind when you fake somebody out that badly and, and why pass? Um, I mean, it was just the flow of the game. Um, it just happened. I mean, I don't know. You know Alex was open. I knew he could finish it, and I just gave it to him. That's just something I've been trying to work on, staying low with the ball and stuff like that. So, Is that part of the mentality, the, the sort of switch that flipped at the end of last season where you're always thinking, give it up first, get get other guys involved? Yeah, that's what I, I try to do. I think this year we have a, a lot more, mm, 
like experience, and now we know how to win and we know how to play with each other. So, Andrew, Andrew you guys seem to have worn down both opponents in the second half. How much of that is conditioning? How much is it that the, the two platoon system? You guys it's a lot of conditioning. We we all been working hard this summer. Uh, I've been trying to trying to lead all the workouts and stuff, and been doing oh. a good job. Colonel, do you think question, with your guys. with your size? Do you think? You're more skilled on the perimeter than maybe people think or, or opponents think? Um, I think that my size sometimes deceives people, but at the end of the day, uh, I have to do what's best for the team. And today, for me, the best thing I could do for the team was give them an inside presence. Um, but, you know, when you have people like Andrew and everyone here, um, you know, it makes it a lot easier to play both sides of the ball, play uh, perimeter and also play inside because they can find you inside and they can definitely find you outside. So. Um, I think people don't give me uh, as much credit for the perimeter, but you know, that's just our little advantage we have. Andrew, the big question on this team is can Cal keep everybody happy with minutes, right? Today you got basically 20 and 20 with both, both units. Could guys be happy in that setup? Oh, well, Coach explained to us that us older guys have to lead, but at the same time we have to compete. And um, if one of the younger guys step up, we're going to have to step on the gas. So, I mean, we just try to compete, and Coach going to play who thinks going to win. So that's what we're going to do.